Is there <coughs> anything you can take away from last time you played Baylor that can be a good helpful hint this time around? Or is it uh, I don't. I don't really think so. Um, Ray didn't play in that game. Uh, they, they played a different lineup than, than they're playing now. So, I mean, I, I think when you play Baylor, you know exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get great size, and they're going to defend you really hard and make it really difficult to score around the basket. And you know, they're going to, you know, like I said, they they won the national championship last year, and I think they're better. Uh, so, it's a, it's a great challenge for us. It's uh, but again, it's it's a great opportunity to play. It's one more time in Hilton for our seniors, and you know, uh, we're, I think our kids are excited. We had Wednesday and Thursday off, and uh, we'll go back to work today. How much would it help having Kristen? Oh, it help a lot. I mean, Kristen's might be the most unique post player in our league because she can stretch the defense. You got to go. You got to guard her on the three point line. I think that's been part of the problem for Ash the last couple of games too. Is defenses are even more compressed because they don't have to guard. Uh, as much in space as they do with Kristen and, and she just changes the way people go about guarding us and changes our team and you know it's not just points and rebounds it's minutes it's, it's another some you know length and, uh, on the defensive end and we got a little tired the other night we put five guards in the game we didn't even practice it and we, we just had to go to it but you know Kristen changes our team dramatically and we'll just hope uh, at some point we get it back. No with three, is she good to go for Sunday? Uh, not yet. We haven't done anything yet. She's going to work out today. We're gonna, she hasn't done we, Like I said, we have Wednesday, Thursday off, so they're going to let her do some stuff today and, and then make a decision. And we'll have to make a choice on, you know, do we push it and, and get her get her ready to go on Sunday or, or, you know, then we don't play until the following Friday. So you're sitting there going, okay. But I let the smart people make that, <laughs> make those decisions. I just – whoever shows up uh, in a uniform, that's what we'll deal with. As a whole, uh, what has this senior class meant to your program? Yeah, you know, I, I think our seniors, uh, I've said this a couple different times, but I think it's a senior group that um, that they're not going to be all over the record books and win a lot of individual awards. But I think what they've done this year, especially um, the way they've led, the way they've embraced the Iowa State way of doing things, um, especially AD. I mean, AD is the, is the leader of our team, and I've said this many times, I've never, never, I've been a head coach 32 years, um, had a vote for captain, and we voted this year. I just wanted to try something different. We did it three times to make sure, and all three times uh, AD was the unanimous choice of the team. And, uh, she's done a phenomenal job, but all of them have, in their own way, they've all come here from very different ways. You know, you got two countries, you know, different countries and JUCO and, and whatever, but they've all found a way to make, make their own little niche, and uh, I think uh, our, our, you know, when their name goes up on the board at Hilton, they should be very proud of what they've done here. Threes are going to be really important uh, on Sundays. How big would it be uh, for AD to have that, not really a breakout game, um, but just have a huge no, night you got to make threes against Baylor. Um, obviously, it's, it's really hard to get to the basket. Um, I mean, it's the way we play anyway, but I think when you play them, you've got to be able to to hit a tough shot, you got to hit a shot at the end of the shot clock. You got to hit a shot under duress, and a lot of times that's a three. Uh, and, and you know, obviously they do such a good job. They're so long, and they get out and extend their defense. And they really, they're, they're you know, they're as physical as any team we play. I mean, they really make it hard to cut and to move. And you just feel like there's always someone in your face. So you got to be, you got to be tough-minded. Uh, you got to be ready when you're open, um, and you know, hopefully have a night where you make a few and. Uh, Otherwise, it's a, it's a long afternoon. What do you feel about where you guys sit in terms of postseason positioning heading into this last game? I mean, I, I think overall, I, I think when you look at numbers and, and you look at the way our league is, I mean, we're the third best league in the country. We have, the, in my opinion, the best team in the country. You play everyone twice. Uh, you know, you look at strength of schedule and uh, you look at all that stuff. Um, I, I don't. I feel really good about what we've done, but it's like I told my staff today. It's like at home. I don't. My opinion doesn't matter a whole lot. <laughs> so I, you know, it's our job is to go out and play, and we'll deal with whatever. But I think when you look at our league and you look at what the Big 12's done, and you, you look at what this team has done, I, I think they they deserve uh, to be considered. And you know, we'll just go play and see what happens.